Investigators say a Craven County family, including three young children, are dead, the result of a murder suicide. Craven County Sheriff Chip Hughes says a Vanceboro man is responsible for the deaths that happened sometime between Wednesday and Friday. On your side's Camila Barco has been keeping up with this story all day. Camila, what are you hearing from people who live near that family? Ken, a neighbor tells me she constantly saw the children of that home playing in the neighborhood, but a relative told deputies that they had not heard from the islands for days. That's when deputies made a gruesome discovery. In the middle of Craven County lies the small community of Vanceboro. Very quiet neighborhood. But last week, Carrie Truitz noticed something, something different. Seems almost eerie, too eerie quiet. Friday afternoon, Truix saw a swarm of investigators surrounding one house on Kinshaw Court. And I went down to the officers and I just asked if the little ones were in there. Just please tell me that they weren't in there. And he just said he couldn't make a statement at this time. It wasn't long before Truix realized her neighbor, Michael J. Ireland, had killed his wife, April. Also killed their three children, Michael, who was four years old, Bryson, three, and eight-month-old Caroline. As a mother, it's hard. Craven County Sheriff Chip Hughes says his deputies went to the home Friday on a welfare check. They looked through the curtain, opened part way, and spotted a body. April and Caroline were on the living room couch, the two boys on another sofa and one last body in their master bedroom with a revolver and the family dog lying near Michael J. Ireland. Officers with over 40 years of experience has described this as one of the most horrific crimes seen in their, their career. Truex says her neighborhood won't be the same. We'll move on, but will their families move on? So just spend a little more time getting to know your neighbor. You never know. Sheriff Hughes says that deputies have responded to that home before, the last time being in 2015. And Sheriff Hughes also says that they are not aware of where that gun came from. Live in Craven County, Camila Barco, 9 on your side.